Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is our second video for Django e-commerce website. And in this video, we will learn some customization for our Django admin. Okay. So we what we will do in this uh, in this video, the first thing, the first task, we will order these models. Okay. So I will reset the order of these models. Like we will first put the categories, then brand, then color, size products and then products attribute so this is our first task then in the second task what we will do we will fetch the image of the brand we will show the image of the brand here in the list display okay and in the third task we will show the color background if you remember we have added the color code in the model field okay so what we will do here we will show the color background in the list display so these are the three primary tasks we are going to do uh, in this video so this is for this video is for our django uh, this is uh, this is the video for our django customization admin customization so let's do this so here i have opened the models.py file okay uh, i'll i'll remove this class i have created this for the just testing okay now what we will do here and also this is showing the categories it uh, but it should be show categories as a correct manner but it is not showing because by default it adds the s in the model name okay so here what we will do in the in the category model we will create we will create class meta so this will be a metadata for our models and in this we will create verbose name plural okay and this will be our categories so when we refresh this page and here you can see we have a sorry for this it is reset it is restarted the server so refresh is so refreshed after refresh you can see here we have a categories name now we want to set the order so i will use the very simple trick here so the first i want to show the categories uh, okay i will show the first number for the banner okay so we'll copy this class paste it here and put one banner it will by default show the uh, models according to the alphabet order but when we put the one two three four five then it will show according to our numbering okay so we will do this now in the second number we have categories in the third number we have brands and similarly for all let's do this quickly colors okay sizes and then we have uh, six products seven product attributes Okay, so it again refresh the server and here we have uh, you can see here we have a brand category and all the things okay so we have now if you if you notice here we it is not showing the banners okay so we will fix this because we have not added the banners model in our admin okay, so we will add this here first of all we will get the banner and then we will add the register, register the banner and refresh this we have copied the category so that it is seeing that it is already exist so we will restart the server and here we will show refresh this so banners categories brands and all the things are coming in order whatever we have set the order it is showing as the same now <clears throat> now what we will do now the second task is 
uh, our first task is completed now so the second task is i want to show the category image because we are we are adding the image also with the category so we have not any category yet so i will add sports and here i will add the sports category uh, in the sports i will add the image so i will add images uh, like this so this is the sports image so i will add this now i want to show the image here in the list so what we will do okay so the first thing we will do we will go to the model and go to the category and before the string function you can uh, place it after the string function also so there is no difference in this i will get the image tag in this i will get self and here i will return so what i will return the first thing what i will do i will fetch the i will fetch from dot utilities dot html import mark save okay so from utilities i will import the mark save function so what it will do it will assume that i am sending the data safely and sending the uh, tag safely in the uh, to the at uh, django okay because by default django converts the uh, tag into the decode format so i am saying that i am adding the safe data so we will use this mark safe and here what i will do mark safe and in this i will add image source and here i will add formatter percentage and here i will do self dot image dot url okay so this will this will uh, put the url in the source and i will also add width 50 pixel height equal to 50 pixel okay now we have added this image tag we don't need to migrate this because we are adding the function we are not adding any uh, we are not adding or altering any uh, field so that we don't need to migrate this so we just need to call in the admin so here i will create the admin i will class category admin admin dot model admin in this list display list display in this list display i will add title the first is id okay let's say title and then we will add this image tag okay and now in uh, from this i will cut this and paste it here in this i will add category admin okay now it will show the image tag so let's refresh this so here you can see it is showing the image tag but uh, we don't need this so i will delete this delete category two okay so it is showing the image now we are now you can also so show the image for the banners brands okay so what, whatever you have you can show you you can get the basic idea from here that we can show the tag and we can add the any tag in the list display okay so you can perform this now our third task is to show the colors color code here okay so what i will do now we are going to do our third task so i will copy this and i will copy this in our color and here i will put color bg and in this what i will do here i will add the color code self dot color code and i will replace this with div tag okay and i will add the styling and the style will be width width will be 50 pixel i am doing inline css okay i hope you are understanding all the things if you are not understanding 
then please add in the comment section i will reply there and please if you are understanding all the things then please hit the like button and please subscribe this channel okay and share this video also background so i will add the background here percentage yes okay so this will replace with the color code now i need to add in the so we will do this similarly we will create the class color admin admin dot model add okay and here we will add list display equal to in this we need to add title and color code title and color code and similarly we will register the admin here color admin and color and we will remove this color from here okay now we are adding this so let's refresh this i will restart the server again so server has been restarted now refresh this page so it is showing the color code okay but we need to show the we need to show the background color it should be background color okay so what uh, so what is the issue actually the issue is we need to add we need to add this double quotes again okay Oh my God! Now we are doing right things. Yeah. So again, it is not showing the color. So I'm. Um, it is uh, maybe it's a spelling mistake. Style width height. Background. Background uh, color code. I'm adding the color code. So let's inspect the element and uh, let's see uh, div is replacing or not color code it is simply showing the color code okay so we need to add this color bg actually in admin we need to add this color bg okay refresh this page and uh, we had uh, assumptions uh, we are we were doing that this is wrong this is wrong but the main reason is that uh, we need to add the function color bg in the admin okay so here you can see we have a color but it is so big so what i will do refresh this okay we need to actually we need to 30 and 30 So this is nice okay so this is the simple uh, three things three tasks that i have i want to show you that how we can do the things very easily okay so if you put some effort then you can do big things very easily okay. so i just want to show you that how we can customize the admin next we will create our brand page uh, oh this is this is our no this is not our layout so next we will create our brand page and uh, our home page uh, this is our home page so we will do we will fetch the banners we will fetch the dynamic content here okay in our up upcoming videos so please stay tuned and uh, please subscribe the channel so that we you will get the regular updates and please like this video share this video comment if you have any question or suggestion for me or any improvement then please comment and please add your thoughts about this video and please add your thoughts about uh, what should uh, what will be the next project okay in django in php in python whatever technology uh, you have uh, you want to use okay so thanks for watching this video thank you thank you so much